Welcome back. Thank you so much for rejoining the conversation. You can see how excited I am for this one. The Spanish La Liga is one of the most watched and undoubtedly competitive football leagues in the world. With those headline stealers like Real Madrid, Barcelona, Atletico Madrid vying for supremacy year in and year out. But there is an ecosystem below that that is growing, exploding. And one club at the heart of that drive, Real Betis, is one of the clubs in the league this season that is now challenging for European spots. Currently six and the league table at the moment but the bigger story for us Batiste are now looking to expand their talent pool and are opening another academy right here in Cape Town and here to tell us a bit more about that commitment and La Liga's overall involvement and entrenchment here in South Africa Nacho Pinela head of international sports projects at Batiste buddy thank you so much for being here uh, I, I know you get this reaction a lot from the local sporting fraternity because it's not lost on us how utterly important it is to have these tangible connections. Yeah. Can I distill this to one question? Why are you here, but uh, why South Africa? First of all, thank you for receiving me. Uh, every person here in Cape Town uh, has welcomed Real Betis very well, so we are very happy to be here. And we are here because I think uh, South African football has a lot of potential. Uh, of course, uh, it's in in the bottom, you know, it's in, on the deepest place of the Spanish hearts because we won the World Cup here in 2010. <laughs> and uh, we would like to develop, you know, those kids, you know, in the Betis way, you know, under the Real Betis methodology, which is one of the most uh, important things that we have, our football methodology. Our culture. Yeah, yeah. yeah our, our culture. Uh, you know, I think those kids deserve the opportunity, you know, to be developed by, by this methodology. Um, because it speaks to growth and development outside of football. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a life path and it will change forever when you're introduced to structures like this. You wouldn't be doing this if you didn't expect a yield or reward. Mm -hmm. How does this look in terms of timeline? When can we expect to see or when are you hoping to see players out of the African pool start hitting your, your field? So uh, right now we're organizing a three days camp and we are, it's the first time that we see the, you know, this local talent in, in person and we are very happy, you know, we found like uh, there are some special talents. I think they just need to understand a little bit more of the tactical thing. Uh, but yeah, we are, we are very happy to be here and uh, what we found is, is really interesting. It's a global brand, Batiste is a global brand, um, a beautiful global brand, but there is a culture, like you said, that comes with generations of football fans from your area. Mm -hmm. And I think it's difficult for South Africans to understand a methodology or a culture because we haven't lived it. What is the Real Batiste methodology? Could you <coughs> sum that up for us? No, it's, it's a way that uh, we plan the training, no? Uh, those kids uh, are going to train in the same way that our first team are, are practicing, oh, no? Oh, oh, every, oh. Every, every kid that is wearing, you know, the Batiste shirt, uh, the Betis jersey, they are practicing on the same way, you know? And we are developing great players and, you know, some of them are playing at our, our team, other, you know, just left to Barcelona, Paris Saint-Germain. It's a gateway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but we are very happy. And also, we don't see the academy like a place where you only kick a ball and that's it. No, we would like to involve, you know, the whole community, you know, the parents, the, the friends, everywhere, everyone. Uh, go there, you know, we organize watch parties, we organize, you know, a lot of events during the whole season, you know, to get these people uh, involved in the Betis way of, love, of, life, of life, you know. Our country is built on that ethos. We have used sport, you mentioned 2010, that was a major gateway for all of us. Mm -hmm. It was so amazing to see how your team did during that, so congratulations, belated Thank congratulations. Thank you. There is something about La Liga at the moment, it feels like as a brand, mm -hmm. you've all got to work together. Mm -hmm. You're up against, when you look at global viewership, you're up against the Premier League, um, we're up against stiff competition, but there is something about the Spanish way that is just so magical. What is it about La Liga and your mindset within football that allows you to play that kind of game? And I say this so that young South African players can listen. I think uh, our way of understanding the football is very different. You know, we are not the biggest ones, but we are fast. Uh, but I think, you know, we always say in Spain that we used to play like tiki-taka style, like <laughs> in a lot of passes. Uh, you know, we would like to have the ball, and that's uh, our, you know, you, we, 
the way that we play, you know, to have the ball, to, you know, uh, to lead the, the possession, to everything. And I think that's the, the unique style of Spanish football. For example, if you compare the Premier League games against La Liga games, you will see, like, in La Premier, they will uh, run a lot, you know. <laughs> Counter-attack. Yeah, right, like, they take the ball, they go to the <laughs> other goal, you know, and in, in La Liga it's more like pass, 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 pass the ball, pass the ball, until you find the hole and go well, for it. There you go. Yeah. Shibobo, baby. Shibobo. <laughs> um, there are so many overlaps with South African footballing mentality and this beautiful style of football that you play at your club, that you play within your country. Thank you so much for opening up your arms for South African kids. We absolutely love you. No, of course. We are more than happy to be here. And also, we will rebuild a new football pitch in Parle uh, with, uh, you know, two football fields, a new stands, you know, for everywhere there, for everyone, sorry. Uh, so we are more than happy to contribute to the local communities here. Um, we love you. We love Paul as well. I think a few more people are going to move from Johannesburg to Paul just because of this. Nacho, thank, <laughs> thank you so you, much sir. to you and thank your you. team for making this investment and the time and the, the interest and passion. We absolutely love you. We cannot wait to see a South African player in the colours of Betis.